Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two very easy questions for you. This is multiple choice questions, so I recommend you to stop video here, uh, read the questions, choose your correct answers and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. And here is the first question. Which of the following statements is true regarding karyotype analysis? Answer A. It is rarely done on the cells of unborn children because it cannot detect most genetic disorders. Answer B. It is now an important medical tool used in predicting the likelihood that an unborn child will be normal. And answer C. It is uh, not done anymore because human pregnancy has only a small risk of birth defects. And of course, uh, we can cross out answer C right away because uh, it's still usable techniques and uh, is used very often. And we left with two answers, answer A and B. So uh, actually the correct answer is answer B. So those uh, genetic techniques are developing and now we uh, can uh, sequence the whole genome of the uh, any uh, person but still such relatively simple techniques as uh, uh, karyotyping are very helpful and uh, help us to um, detect many genetic disorders that can be detected on the whole chromosomal level. For example, when we have uh, extra chromosome, we call this trisonomy, or when uh, uh, genome is missing one chromosome. For example, some females may uh, have only one X chromosome. In this case, we wouldn't be able to detect a bar body, and uh, one X chromosome would be active in every uh, female cell. And uh, as a genetic disorder that is can be detected on the chromosomal level is trisonomy 21 or Down syndrome. And some males may have uh, one extra Y chromosome and uh, it also leads to some phenotypic changes. And about 20-30 uh, years ago there was a report from one uh, British uh, scientist uh, who made studies in uh, prison and she reported to find a disproportional number of uh, people uh, in prison whose genotype was XYY, so one uh, extra Y chromosome um, lead to more violent uh, behavior and people end up in the prison. But later it was found that this is not true uh, this scientist just used very small sample of people and that leads to a uh, mistake. But anyway, about 100 uh, different genetic disorders that can be detected on the chromosomal level can be uh, found with uh, using uh, this technique, a karyotype analysis, so it's still very important technique. But maybe in the uh, future, maybe even in the nearest future, in 5 or 10 years, this technique would be completely replaced by whole genome analysis. And next question or statement, sex link genetically inherited traits. And here is the four uh, statements to choose from. Uh, statement A can appear in both males and females. B are only found in males, C are only found in females, and D result from the premature sexual intercourse. And of course, uh, we can cross out answer D. This is just given here for fun. Uh, I don't think that anyone would choose this answer because uh, the younger the parents, the least probability that they would have uh, genetic uh, disorders in their progeny and the older uh, parents become, the more probability that they would have uh, um, genetic disorders during, for example, uh, 
meiosis process, a sperm formation or egg cell formation, and uh, some genetic disorders are directly influenced by the um, age of the parents. For example, trisonomy 21 or uh, Down syndrome. Uh, uh, the graphic may look like this. So on the uh, X axis, this is going to be age of the um, female and on the Y axis, this is going to be occurrence of, for example, trisonomy 21 and uh, graphics may look something like this. So it's a start with relatively low occurrence of this genetic disorder. For example, I do not remember exactly numbers, but uh, average is uh, one genetic disorder per 700 live births. So for example, we would start here with number one in 1000 for the age between 18 and uh, 25. And when a female reach the age of 35, uh, the occurrence of this genetic disorder would start to grow. And on our graphic, this means that uh, occurrence would be, for example, 1 in 800, and at the age of uh, 40, the occurrence would be 1 in 600, and uh, say uh, 45, this may look like uh, 1 in 500. So, uh, once again, this is just a uh, picture that I am using. For example, numbers are not exact, but uh, overall picture looks like this. So, um, answer C are only found in females, and this is uh, not true, because uh, correct answer would be answer A can appear in both males and females. And uh, you probably uh, heard that uh, genetic disorder that uh, is X-linked more frequently found in males. And this is true because uh, females has uh, two X chromosomes. And for example, this is going to be two X chromosomes. Uh, so this is going to be female. And this is going to be male, one large X chromosome and one small Y chromosome. And uh, if uh, occurrence of some genetic disorder for some particular gene would be one in uh, 100 people. So one female out of 100 would be a carrier. For males, that means that one person out of 100 would be affected with this genetic disorder because males doesn't have uh, another X chromosome that has a normal gene that would produce norm normal protein in order to balance this defective gene on the X chromosome. But uh, it doesn't eliminate the possibility for, for female also to have this genetic disorder, uh, but uh, occurrence of the homozygous state for female would be much rare than uh, for the male. So uh, the probability that one uh, gene on one X chromosome would be uh, defective is one out of 100 and probability that uh, another X chromosome also would have the same gene that is also would be uh, defective also one out of uh, 100. And uh, we have to multiply these two independent probabilities. And as you see, the probability that uh, we would find females that uh, would be uh, affected with this genetic disorder would be 1 in 10,000. So as you see, females also can be affected with uh, such genetic disorders but males would be affected about 100 times more frequently. And Y chromosome 
we do not take into account because Y chromosome just have uh, very few genes and uh, only a few genetic disorders are known that uh, caused by defective genes on the Y chromosome and usually when we say uh, sex linked genetic disorder we mean uh, X linked genetic disorder and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye